Oh yeah. Dun 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 dun. Morning. Vive la France. Allez les bleus. Got it for Croatia. But we'll come back to that. Morning. It's uh, Andrew here on my own today. Herself is not here. Uh, she's on a well-deserved uh, week off this week. Although she is around, so if she's probably watching this, actually. If you're watching this today, and go back to bed. Don't be sad, all right? Weirdo. Uh, weather today. I was just coming down the stairs um, as I was going in here, and uh, when I came in earlier on, uh, the sun was up. It was nice and dry and kind of getting bright. And as I was just coming down the stairs, it is pissing rain, and it's going to get a little bit heavier in places this morning. Just bear that in mind. Roads will become a little bit slippery as well. The good news is... Today is supposed to be generally dry. It will begin to clear away um, to just the odd shower in places. But right now it is very wet and highest temperatures of 18 to 20 degrees. All right. So how was your weekend? Um, what a weekend of sport, lads. Between the hurling, the football yesterday, the soccer, the tennis. Incredible stuff. Um, so if you were watching any of it, if you were at the Kerry match yesterday maybe, uh, what are your own thoughts? I understand there was a disaster with the train situation and buses and everything yesterday as well, which I'm sure that they'll be discussing on Kerry today this morning. Uh, but we'll come back to that in a few minutes' time. Uh, papers first this morning. The Irish Times leads with EU and economic foe, Trump says in advance of Putin meeting, uh, and council to consider construction of log cabin homes in gardens. Dublin couple have been ordered by on board Planola to take down a log cabin that they call home. That's on the front page of the Irish Times this morning. The Irish Sun says, Vlad's my boy. Connor hails Putin as one of the greatest leaders of all time. McGregor in Moscow. Uh, Connor McGregor spent his 30th birthday uh, at the World Cup final yesterday where he hung out with Vladimir Putin and there's pictures of the two of them together in some of the papers this morning. And World Cup final 2018, France 4, Croatia 2, and a picture of the team celebrating lifting the cup on the front page of the sun there. Also, Paul Pogba makes the front page of the examiner. He's uh, pictured lifting the cup, as is that photograph of McGregor and Putin. And I'll be honest with you, uh, Pogba, which we come back to in a minute, is trending for all the right reasons this morning, and not just because he scored in the World Cup final. Staff may get battens, a new jail unit is also on the front page of the Irish examiner, along with ISPCC in €650,000 loss despite axing staff also it makes the front page of the Irish Examiner. And the indomitable treaty, Limerick end a 45-year hoodoo against Kilkenny in a cracking game there yesterday. Uh, that's uh, in the Examiner there this morning. The top trends, not surprisingly, are World Cup final related. Actually, all of the top trends in Ireland this morning are all sports related, but we'll come back to those now. So France, 4-2 against Croatia yesterday. Uh, absolutely deserved to win it. Um, we knew, though, going into this game, that with all the controversy of VAR and the video assistant referee over the coming uh, last few weeks, we knew that it was going to play some part in yesterday's game, and that it did. Uh, Paul Pogba, as we mentioned, right, so he scored yesterday. He played well. Um, I think most people would agree he had a decent enough tournament, considering he wasn't really in the form of his life at Man United. However, the reason he's trending is nothing to do with the soccer itself. It's to do with the fact that he brought his mom out onto the field to celebrate with her. And I thought that was really lovely. People are giving him great praise for that. So while others brought out their kids, possibly, or the wife, or whatever, he brought his mom, which I thought was lovely. So well done, Paul Pogba, on that. Hurling is trending this morning. Limerick, as you mentioned, had a brilliant win over Kilkenny yesterday. But Owen Murphy, the Kilkenny goalkeeper, is getting a lot of praise. What a performance, lads. I mean, serious stuff yesterday. Unbelievable. He really is the best goalkeeper in the country. Uh, and the other trend is one we don't want to talk about. Kerry versus Galway. Kerry unfortunately lost yesterday. There's a lot of unhappy Kerry fans on Twitter last night watching the Sunday game and uh, this morning you can read those tweets. And there was hassle with the trains as well. We mentioned, I think, was it the main first train of the morning? There was a 75-minute delay and then I think there was buses from Tralee to Mallow. There was no actual train running from Tralee to, Tralee to Mallow. And then there was a problem with the lines is what I think. Uh, so if you were there or you were at the game, let me know what you uh, thought of it. Um, I'll be honest, I watched mostly the World Cup. But I was sitting in a pub, so I had the World Cup on a TV here, and Kerry and Galway was on a TV here, so I was only kind of keeping an eye on it. But, um, yeah, a lot of people annoyed uh, with the result there. First round of the Super 8s yesterday. Uh, alas. Um, Djokovic won the tennis as well yesterday after a cracking weekend of semi-final action. The longest ever semi-finals. Sorry, I'm yawning now. I have to put that in the kettle. Oh, excuse me. Um, I watched the tennis up until both matches on Friday night as the f first semi-final went on for over six and a half hours and then the second semi-final had to be played over the course of Friday night and Saturday uh, which Djokovic beat Nadal in. And Bruce Willis, he's in the papers this morning, he says that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Is he for real? Like, Die Hard is one of the greatest, if not the greatest Christmas movie of all time bar none. 
We've gone through this before. Um, and there's something else I want to talk about very quickly before we do my show and tell, which is very straightforward actually for today. What time are we at? A um, couple of weeks back on my show and tell, I showed you a picture of La Valanchula, the film which I had gotten completely hooked on, on sci-fi, even though it was terrible. Steve Gutenberg was in it from Police Academy. Well, listen to this story, right? This isn't it's like a, a La Valanchula, but it's about giant tarantulas. Bird-eating giant tarantulas may be on the, the loose in parts of England. Uh, they apparently escaped from a container in a place called Derbyshire, and residents were told that these giant tarantulas have left people feeling frightened and vulnerable, and they've been told if they spot them, they're not to approach them or handle them in any way. These are big enough that they can eat full birds. Uh, now, I haven't said which kind of bird, but you'd, like I'd say a crow, maybe. Um, and the reason that they think that they've escaped is because, first of all, they can't find them, and secondly, the adult version of these giant tarantulas left their babies and apparently that's the sign that they've escaped I, i'm not sure but um it's kind of creepy to think that that's not that far away from us lads i know there's an ocean between us but you know what i mean like so giant bird eating tarantulas are on the loose uh, now show and tell i was djing saturday night and i was in the killarney ground and i met so many people so my show and tell is that list there um of requests from people I met over the weekend, some of whom are watching this video now. So good morning to David, uh, to Vicky and to Brian who got engaged actually at the weekend as well. And a shout out to the ladies from, oh hang on, where was it? Oh yeah, there was a gang in from Tarbert on a hen party as well for a wedding which happens next week. I didn't get the bride and groom's names for the wedding, but the hens who were from Tarbert uh, who watched this video, good morning guys, you were great crack. Uh, and I go through the requests on the radio this morning. That's my show and tell, all the requests we got. So it kind of just leads me on to this. If you ever spot Elaine or I out anywhere and you want us to mention on the radio, do pop up and say hi. We're not going to bite you, I promise. So we make sure we take, we take it down on our phones, you see, so that we remember it. So um, yeah, if you ever do spot us out and you want to shout it on the video in particular, uh, say that you've seen this bit and we'll stick it in our phones and we'll give you a mention on air, all right? Now, we've got loads coming up the show this morning, uh, plenty of tunes. We're going to be giving away flights as well. If you're interested, we've got flights from Shannon Airport, which we're going to give away all across today. Um, so I'll give full details on that coming up the show this morning. We've got loads happening music-wise. And because I'm on my own, I've kind of got a bit of freedom to do whatever I like, really. So if you want to hear a song, maybe there's something that you heard over the weekend that you want us to play, give me a buzz, 083-300-3300, uh, three, three and I'll sort that for you, right? I'm going to go get the kettle ready, stick the kettle on for a coffee. It's just gone five to... We're about to go live on the radio. So enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you had a nice weekend, and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Allez le bleu, allez le bleu.